Los Angeles, magnitude 3.3 quake and swarms ongoing at the south of the San Andreas Fault section at Imperial Valley. Strong activity today. There must have been 30 or 40 quakes at least. We're having a tremendous amount of quakes here in Imperial Valley, south of Los Angeles. This is just today's quakes. Look at this one. 4.0 magnitude. Today, 2.13 a.m., 4.0. Then you have 3.6, 2.14 a.m., one minute later. And then you have this one here, 3.3, about seven hours later. And of course, all this swarm here, and they're still ongoing. This is the latest one. Um, I don't know why, but it seems as if this area has picked up in activity. We have been told that the Imperial Valley has new faults that they're finding that are, of course, part of the San Andreas system, and that they can give a bigger earthquake than thought. Uh, they're on both sides of Salton Sea. We know that there is a geothermal plant there, as there is just across the border in Mexico. There is, of course, magma chamber there. That's why they have the geothermal plants. And this is, of course, connected to the Ridgecrest area, which has another geothermal plant. And, of course, the geysers, the biggest in the world there, uh, up towards the... Um, Okay, where well, we're having another quake swarm as well. Okay, this is uh, the area right there. So, uh, which is connected again to uh, Yellowstone, as we know. So this seems to be picking up in activity. This is strong earthquakes. These are strong earthquakes. Four magnitude is a strong earthquake. And this is just today's swarm as we can see the blue is today's swarm has anyone felt this let's see 319 people and let's see the population in the area population population density yes okay especially in mexico all right Um, I'm thanking, first of all, one of my viewers, Andrew Briseno. He says, Imperial County, south of Salton Sea, hit by four magnitude, 3.6 and eight more, around two and a half, earth, two, uh, magnitude 2.5 quakes yesterday. And uh, he said, uh, he's sending me more information. I thank him for that. The area, he says, where the two large earthquakes struck in this same area, where in the 15th of October, 1979, a uh, 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck and ruptured along the same line that the two recent quakes of magnitude 4 and 3.6 struck. Okay, well we know that, uh, and, I'll, and I'll look into that, but we know that this is Salton Buttes right there, uh, the Salton Sea mud volcano, and we know that the south southern portion of the San Andreas there uh, on this side of Salton Sea and this side of course is very dangerous and they're saying that it's um, it will give a mega thrust earthquake in the future that's what they're afraid of it's a very dangerous fault now these are this is the whole thing here but uh, when I opened up the map and this is what came up. I don't know where the four magnitude is, but this is uh, the Imperial Valley, Valley area that has it. This is an earthquake swarm. Look at this. Um, they don't plot everything. I mean, it's just not feasible to plot everything, but this is about, what, 30 earthquakes here today? These are today's quakes. And uh, they don't have all of the past week here. These are today's quakes. This is something new. The blue uh, is today 
The red is the past hour. The depth is 11, what? This is 11 kilometers depth. This one is 7.5 kilometers depth, small magnitudes, uh, 7.2. Let's see the other red one there, 11.7 kilometers depth. This one here seems to be one of the biggest ones there, 3.3, 12.8 kilometers. That should have been felt, but let's take a look. This is on USGS. The map was Sizewell Berkeley, which I always like because it goes fast. Let's see what happens here. 25 people felt it. It was the past hour, so I assume that more people will be recording this, that they felt it. That's it right there. And right next to the U.S.-Mexican border. Okay, now we know that uh, they have a geothermal plant there, and they also have a geothermal plant right across the border in Mexico. Geothermal plants. And we know that wherever you have a geothermal plant, they will have more earthquakes and more intense, the, uh, lar a larger intensity of earthquakes. We see that happening everywhere they have geothermal plants, even at the geysers especially. Okay? So this is, um, we know that there's a magma chamber there. This is the same magma chamber going, I don't, I'm repeating myself, but, you know, forgive me. This is very important because this is one of the most active seismic areas in the world. Uh, shall we, let's go to the uh, aerial so we can see better. Okay. Let's go. No, there we go. That's better. Okay. Because we can see the um, uh, um, topography here. Okay. This is it right there. And right here, the Baja area floods in the magma corridor, what should we call it? The body of magma supplying the volcanic fields of Casa Volcanic Field, which creates salt and buttes, volcanic field, Casa Volcanic Field, Long Valley Caldera, Super Volcano, all the high threat volcanoes of the West Coast are being supplied by this magma corridor, which also goes along this fault line here and up to Yellowstone. Okay, it's the same magma body. That's why when you had the Ridgecrest earthquake, later on, a couple of weeks later, you had the quake swarm in Long Valley Caldera supervolcano and the quake swarm in Yellowstone supervolcano. That's no surprise because the same thing happened 20 years ago when you had a Ridgecrest earthquake again of 7.1 in 1999. That gave quake swarms Long Valley Caldera and uh, Yellowstone as well. Since then, they have told us that it's because they have the same magma body supplying everything here. Everything is being supplied by the same thing. Uh, we've recently had another quake here. Where are we? Uh, I don't know if it's plotted here, but they can't possibly plot everything, but in Seattle. Um, and we have to realize that, okay, that's Vancouver Island. That's rocking like a ship, like this. That's rocking like a ship. And you have Seattle right here, and that's a crack going through Yellowstone. Crack going through Yellowstone. There's the crack right there, you can see it. 2,200 miles all the way to New Madrid Seismic Zone, right there, uh, New Madrid, Missouri. And from there, it stops there. And then you have the other crack right here, Mississippi River going along, flanking Lake Erie, Lake uh, Ontario, and up to the St. Lawrence Seaway. And that's where I used to live, at right? Montreal. Yes, I'm also Canadian. <laughs> I'm basically North American, and I love it. <laughs> I love you all. I kiss you, my lovelies. Okay, I'm happy because we're heading into Thanksgiving soon. Beautiful feast. Um, okay, and we know that this is a failed rift valley, and uh, this is a real foot rift zone here, failed rift valley, and the, the geologists say it should be called New Madrid Rift Valley. Um, and it's sloughing off, cracking towards the southeast. Now, let's go to Canada. What's happening in Canada? 
something happened and they took off all, <laughs> all, the, all the quakes here. But you have to realize these are, you know, th this is, Canada is also having quakes. You know, Canada is also having quakes. 3.1 uh, November 2nd. I don't know what happened here. They took them off. I think they told us that they would be fixing their, uh, uh, they're, they're undergoing equipment upgrades. Okay, so maybe they, they're doing something there. But if you extrapolate, um, where are we? Let's go out. Extrapolate the U.S. quakes into Canada. It's the same activity. Okay, that one's big. That was a few days ago. Yeah, a couple of days ago, 4.9. And they don't book all the Canadian quakes, but uh, you can see that it's they're there. And we'll imagine that that's just as, uh, if even more uh, active. I don't know what happened to their system here. Okay, so this all here, this is a new, this is New Madrid seismic zone. This is today, Kansas. We know that we have three volcanoes in Kansas. Kimberlite volcanoes, they spit out diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and uh, semi-precious uh, gems. Uh, and they explode. They're explosive volcanoes, and we looked into that when uh, people from Kansas were reporting that they were hearing loud booms and shaking underground, coming from underground, and they thought their houses would explode. That's because you've got vol uh, kimberlite volcanoes, explosive volcanoes under your feet there in Kansas. And um, that's not surprising. Where you have a rift valley, you have faults and volcanoes. Just because, you know, they're so ancient, people, uh, as the geologists have told us, they're more into knowing what's going on the west coast than they are uh, east of the Rockies. But that's just what's happening on the the same thing is happening on the Great Rift Valley of Africa. Fault lines, earthquakes, and volcanoes everywhere. Okay. Oh, okay. This is, was that there? I don't know. Anyway, that's the past hour. And uh, let's see how many people felt this one. Three magnitude, five kilometers depth. That should have been felt. Only six reported it. Okay. What could I tell you? Maybe it's an area that's not that populated. Uh, it could be farming or whatever. Okay. Let's see the aerial. That's where it is. And it doesn't seem to be, let's see the population. Population density. Uh, basically it's farmland. Okay. It doesn't have very many, any, many communities nearby, so it's not populated there. It's in the middle of nowhere, farmland, and rivers everywhere. Wherever you have rivers, you have fault lines. Rivers everywhere, lush land. I remember flying across from east to west, uh, going to Los, uh, where was it? Palm Springs for, yeah, Los Angeles and Palm Springs for a worldwide meeting we had. And we flew, I flew over the United States, and it was just so beautiful, especially the Grand Canyon. I didn't, for the life of me, I didn't, I never knew how the early settlers got through that canyon to the West Coast, really. That was an, a, a, a heroic and courageous feat, uh, what, what they went through. Anyway, this is, you know, things seem to be picking up. Uh, this is the most seismic area of the world, as you can see, as far as the amount of earthquakes. Uh, we had a big one here today. What's that? 6.1. Okay. Tonga. Okay, so Yellowstone, of course, that as well. And uh, this one here, Montana, 2.8. In the middle of nowhere, Montana. Are you getting earthquakes in areas that nobody reported? Okay, that really don't have earthquakes. Um, going back to uh, Sultan Buttes, Imperial Valley. That's 
expected to have a major earthquake sometime in the future because of the dangerous faults there. Okay, South Carolina, no, Los Angeles. Let's see what's happening in Los Angeles today. That should not have been felt. Okay, and you have a 3.2. All right, now we see activities everywhere. Okay, this is, area, this is the area of uh, Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano, Mammoth Lakes. This as well as uh, active as you can see. Okay, I'll leave links below for you for this. Please be very careful you who are up there. Ridgecrest, of course, still ongoing. It has decreased. It has decreased in the number of earthquakes because it was a very big jolt. And as the geologists have told us, it could be going on uh, shaking like this for uh, a long time yet because it was a very strong earthquake. Okay. So it seems, it seems that things are picking up around here. So we have to be very careful. All of you in Los Angeles, please be very careful. San Diego, Los Angeles, the southern part of San Andreas. And please get yourself your earthquake app to be um, updated, to be informed, just to be warned, forewarned in case of a, an earthquake coming in your area that will shake you up. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.